Alright guys, this is a um, another tutorial I'm doing with After Effects CS5, and this is actually a special request um, by a young lady that wanted to learn how to do rotoscoping and rotobrushing through something else besides a lightsaber, um, but she still wanted the lightsaber effect. So what I ended up doing is I do not have a Chinese hand fan, and that's what she wanted. Um, I don't have one laying around and I don't know where exactly I can buy one so um, what I'm doing is went online and got some footage some HD footage um, which is what you see right here this is uh, just kind of free to use stuff um, I can't remember where the website was I guess I could come up here and it's, here it is it's hollywoodcamerawork.us um, and then you can go the green this, these are all the green screen plates and this is what you got right here um, they got marker ones, um, tons of stuff. Where you got stuff that's kind of you got bad green screen, um, some green screen with two markers, you know, reflections, no markers, um, stuff that's transparent. Um, you can mess around with all this types of stuff. Um, and and this is what I'm using right now. Um, is uh, where is it? It's over here somewhere. Here it is. This one right here. So Hollywood um, Camera Work .us, and I'll put a link in the description of it. Um, basically, this is basically this a similar thing. It's it's multiple um, points instead of just four or five. Um, this is about eight, nine, maybe ten points of rotoscoping. And I've already done a few because I actually had to record this is the second time because I kind of screwed up the first time. So I'm not going to go back and re rotoscope. But basically, all you have to do um, is create a black and white solid and put the black underneath set everything to screen so just like it set up so screen if you don't have this mode thing just hit this button right here it toggles it between mode and then all that kind of stuff that you see right there um, and you just want everything to screen and then um, with the pen tool with the white solid selected um, create your mask around this thing and this is where it started so da 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 yeah, all the way around um, and then once you get that done, um, you go into your mask and then go to click this little button right here and then you're ready to go. Um, and then you move on to your, you know, your next frames and all this stuff and you get all this. Um, so I'll move maybe one or two more frames and just to just kind of show you how I do it. Um, so it's, it's really, really tedious work. Um, the more points you have to work with, uh, the more tedious it gets. So obviously if you have five points like you do in my um, lightsaber tutorials, um, which is what I usually use, maybe I'll, you know, I usually start with four and then I, you know, add more later on so I can get a curve on the, the tip of the blade um, or a curve at the, the front of the blade on the hilt part. Um, I'll add on that later, but this, this is just crazy stuff right here. You have to pretty much start. Um, like this, and this is a lot of stuff. And I saw stuff like this um, in the Star Wars Episode Three bonus features, where they were doing this um, for green screen capture, uh, making sure um, they're getting everything um, from Anakin's leg, um, legs, and part of his body and his arms off part of the the set for the green screen. Um, and they were doing, you know, probably 15, 20 points. Um, you know, having all this, you know, different, um, different points to work with, so it's it's crazy, and they do, you know, a thousand, two thousand frames a day of just that. And so, rotoscoping is a really tedious job, um, but if you don't mind it, you can get into the field really quickly, you know, because you know you can get paid real well doing that. So. Um, so now that I got, you know, a couple frames that I showed you, just kind of watch me go through all that. And, um, after you have your whole sequence, I'm not going to do the whole sequence because that's like, you know, uh, what, whatever, seven, you know, seven frames or seven, um, seconds times 30 frames is, that's a lot. So I'm not going to, you know, that's, uh, around 200 frames, 210 frames, I'm not going to go through, I'm only going to do it because that will take me forever, and frankly, you don't want to sit there and watch me do that. <laughs> um, I'm going to quickly show you the effect 
um, how to do it. So with all this, um, you go up to Layer, New, and then Adjustment Layer. Um, and then put that underneath your stock footage. Um, and then also put that as screen, wherever that, there it is. Um, so it's all screen under the mode. Um, and then we're going to do an effect, blur and sharpen, and then fast blur. You can use whatever blur you want. You can kind of mess around with it. We'll do whatever you want. Make sure repeat edge pixels is checked. And then start off with a good old one. Um, oh, and then you can turn that back on. I had it off. It's just, I have it off so you can kind of see what you're doing and everything. Um, and basically the adjustment layer is going to affect everything below it. So with your adjustment layer, make sure it's selected, not the effect selected, just the, the layer selected. Duplicate it. And then you get this. Um, and then you just move on. Hit 5. You just you increment it up. It just makes it so it, it's more blurry. It looks better and all that kind of stuff. Um, make sure the layer selected again. Duplicate it again. Um, put it up to 10, and you're just going to do this over and over again, you know, until you get a nice, a good fuzziness. Um, it's not going to look as good as, like, the light super one is, and there's some things you can do, um, with this. You probably can go into here, um, select the mask. Um, there's probably some things you can do, um, um, there's probably some, um, uh, what am I trying to... Think of uh, smoothers or something around here. I'm not, I'm not really sure what those would be. Maybe expression tools, but distort somewhere where it it, it just kind of it smooths it out. Um, I get. Oh, I guess right here. You could, <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> um, just do a little bit of feather. Oop, not quite that much. You probably want a little like a, a four or something like that. So just select it, just so it's a little bit smoother. Maybe maybe an eight. I mean, just kind of play around with it, do what you want. I mean, it's just so it's not low, like, oh, like it's a, you know, it's um, nice and jagged edgy. You want a little bit smoother because that's what lights up. It's smooth. Um, so, um, so that's kind of, you know, just just kind of play around. Just kind of play around until you get kind of get what you want, and and once you get to that point of you get that nice nice glow. Um, right here. Oops, I forgot to add that onto that. So I got that. Um, you can add as much as you want on there. This will be the last one, and I'll go to 20. Um, so after I got all that done, now you move on when you're on the very top one. Um, go to Effect, and then you want to go to Channel. What is it Channel? Man, I haven't done this a long time. Uh, color balance right there just color balance bring it on here um, if you want a, a good old uh, red blade you want to change do, do, do it. and then red right there now just because it's behind green screen and just because of the size of this it's not gonna look as good as a regular lightsaber um, Reserved luminosity. Um, so it's it's all about trial and error. Um, you're gonna get you know you can you can try different things. You can add more of a a color thing. But basically you just you kind of play with these until you get what you want. And um, even this you can you know maybe add it up to a, a 50. Um, just really you know good you know glow. And obviously because it's the green screen, it's not gonna look as good as if it was you know actual footage. Um, but you get, you get to the point where, um, once you add your footage, it's going to look a lot better. But it's, again, like I said, it's not going to look as good as a nice, you know, one inch diameter, um, lightsaber blade where it's nice and thin and the, the, the color just, you know, it looks good. So this right here is probably about as good as you can get. You know, I mean, you can play around some, with some stuff and get to the point where it does look decent. And this is about as decent as I'm going to go for at this point. Um, but again, it's the same exact, uh, the same process as if you're going to rotoscope anything to do a lightsaber, um, whether you're going to do an actual, uh, a stump blade, 
um, for a lightsaber, or you're going to do a fan, or you're going to do a leg, or, or anything like that. It's, it's going to be the same exact process, um, going in and out, you know, each frame by frame by frame, moving every single little point, um, just to get the way you want it. And then once you get the lightsaber effect, you're grand, you're doing awesome. So, um, anything else? Um, let me think. I don't believe so. Um, the roto brushing part, um, it's pretty simple. I guess I could go into that real briefly. Um, I guess you, if you want more of a detailed one, go into my roto brush video, which I'll put another link to the, into the video. Um, so basically, double click on your composition. You just double click right here, and it opens up this layer, um, which I actually opened up the the bright, you know, layer. There you go. So I clicked on that one. So then you get this. Um, and when your rotor brush is selected to make it um, bigger and smaller, you just hold it. You control click, control left click, and drag left and right. And it makes it bigger and smaller. Um, once you get the size you want, you can hold green as it selects whatever you're selecting. So like if I did this, boom, it you know basically does that. Um, oops, wrong button. Um, so you can like do that. Okay, something's obviously messed up, but um, I got some sort of frame rate mismatch thing that I have to change in my comp settings. Uh, change up to 30. Uh, there you go. So then you, you get that, and it kind of it kind of guesses and everything. And then to minus, you just hit Alt um, and select whatever, or deselect whatever. So like you do that and you can go through the hand and it kind of guesses and and for some smaller areas you control click and move left and then you kind of uh, a little bit finer options right there and there you go that's that's the rotor brush tool you want deeper insight to that there's a video for that and I'll link it in the description um, but thanks for watching and I hope this is kind of what you're looking for here you go right here this is what the actual layer on a black background um, that you got that. I guess the rotor brush was a good part to do because that's what the blade is going to look like. The nice red glow, uh, wherever you want red, green, 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 blue, purple, orange, yellow, whatever you want. Um, you can try that out with. But that's basically what it's going to look like be behind black, um, behind actual footage. It's not going to look as good, um, depending on if it's light or dark in um, the surrounding area. So, um, thanks for watching, and I hope this is what you wanted. Um, um, any more requests, you guys can just send me uh, a message on YouTube. Just, you know, send me a message and I will try and get to that. So, thanks.